Hi everyone, let's solve today's daily challenge that is sort an array. So in this question, uh, we just have to sort an array and uh, we have to sort the array in O of n log n time complexity and uh, with the smallest space complexity possible. So there are a ton of uh, sorting algorithms out there. So the most popular comparison based sorting algorithm that you might have heard are bubble sort, insertion sort, um, quick sort, merge sort, heap sort. So these are the uh, popular comparison based sorting algorithms, right? So out of these, the ones that give O of n log n time complexity are quick sort, right? And uh, merge sort and the third one is heap sort right so these are the three algorithms that give o of n log n time uh, quick sort takes o of n square time in the worst case so we will not be considering it here right so we are left with these two sorting algorithms so both of these algorithms take o of n log n time only to sort the array right so uh, but in the question it is given that we have to choose the algorithm that gives uh, that uses the smallest space possible right so for merge sort this algorithm uses o of n space complexity while heap sort uses o of 1 right that is constant space so we will be uh, using heap sort in this question right so let's see Let's see quickly what heap sort is, right? So in heap sort, so as the name suggests, we will be using heap data structure, right? So we will be having an array and what we will be doing is we will be trying to create a heap out of it, right? So in heap sort, there are two things. First, you build the heap and after that, you delete the root of the heap and keep building the heap until all the elements are sorted. Now, why are we deleting the root of the heap, right? So in heap sort, uh, so what is a heap data structure, right? Heap is a complete binary tree, first of all, and the parent, right? If we are talking about max heap, in max heap, the parent is always greater than its children. For example, here, let's say it is 3 it is 2 1 0 and 0 right so here you can see that the root node is the largest among all the nodes inside of this tree right so this is a max heap this is a valid max heap similarly in min heap the parent is always less than its children right so um these are max heap and min heap so what do we do here we will be taking max heap right so in max heap uh, so in heap sort what we will uh, we do is we take the root of the heap and we delete it right we delete it so we will be placing it here right so the root of the heap is actually the largest element right so we'll be placing it from the last we will be beginning from the last and we will be placing it there so we'll place it here and after that what we will do we will now our heap will look like Okay, uh, so this zero will be here. Here we'll be having a one and here we will be having another zero. Okay, wait. So here we will be having another zero, right? So now what we will do? We will use a heapify function to convert it into a heap again, right? So we will be converting it into a heap so we will be getting 2 and uh, 0 and 1 and 0 right so this is our heap and then again what we will do we will delete the root and we will place it inside of the array and we will keep doing it until we reach the first element of the array right now let's discuss about the heapify function right that is the main function here. If you understand uh, heapify, you will be able to solve the question, right? So let's see what heapify is. So basically, when you have, let's say you have um, 10, 6, 7, 3, 2, 2 and 1, right? Let's say we have this heap, right? 
so we had an array inside of which we had these elements so this is 1 2 3 4 4 5 6 and 7 right so it was 10 6 7 and um, 3 2 2 1 right so this was the array that is given to us right so first of all what we do we build this heap so right now what we have done first we have just created a binary tree out of it and after that how will we you know the main logic is to build a heap out of this right how will we building a heap out of this right so that is what heapify function is used for so what heapify does is so heapify says that neglect all the leaf nodes right so there is a property of complete binary tree that uh, these many nodes to n right all these nodes are leaf nodes right here also you can see that n is what 7 here so 7 by 2 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 and 4 to 7 you can see that 4 5 6 7 these are all leaf nodes and here you can see that with this formula we have got 4 to 7 only right so in complete binary tree this is the property that from n by 2 plus 1 to n uh, all these nodes are leaf nodes right so if you see so heapify uh, works uh, recursively right so first you call for this node and after for its children and for its children but if you see here if you call for leaf nodes right so the property of heap is that the parent should be greater than its children but for a leaf node there are no children so there is no use of you know uh, trying to build a heap for these particular nodes right we don't have to we don't have to perform any operation on the leaf nodes right so that is what heapify does so it leaves the leaf nodes it starts from n by 2 position and it builds a heap from n by 2 position up to 0th node or the first node right the root node right so how does it do it basically it takes a particular node it checks its left and right child right and it checks if the children if any of the children is greater than this it will swap those two right for example in this case if this was not the case it was um, 2 here and 7 here and 1 here let's say right so here you can see that this child is greater than this parent right so what do we have to do we have to swap this so this is what heapify does so it starts from this index this particular index that is n by 2 it starts from 3 then goes to 2 then to 1 what it does it takes this particular node and it's check it checks its children right if its children are greater what it will do it will swap them right so what we will get here we will be getting 7 here and we will be getting 2 here so so we do it recursively right so the base condition for the recursion is that if uh, you have not done any change or any swaps then that's it your heap is created you have to stop so this is the base condition for this particular heapify function right so this heapify function takes o of n time to build right to create a heap out of the binary tree that is given to us right so we take the array and we simply build a heap first and after that what we do okay let me clear the board a little bit okay so what do we do in heap sort first is first is that we build a heap right first is build build a heap right after that do what delete root delete the root after you delete the root you heapify the rest of the tree again right you heapify the rest of the okay wait heapify the rest of the tree right and after that what do you do you just you traverse in the array from the last index right because in max heap the root is the greatest element right 
so you have to start the iteration from the last element and in that last element you will be putting the value of the root of the heap right which is the largest value so you will be automatically putting the largest value at its own place and then you will simply keep iterating forwards until you reach the first position right and you repeat all these steps right you build a heap you delete the root and you heapify the rest of the tree right and then you again keep doing the same that is delete the root heapify delete the root heapify until you reach the first index right so now let's see the code okay wait yep so here is the code so this is the heapify function now let's see what it is doing right so we have taken a largest here right so it contains whatever position we are at we are saying that let's consider it the largest only right after that it says that we have a left so this is how we calculate the left child and this is we calculate uh, this is how we calculate the right child so first also we will be you know doing this inside the array only so if you see if you see these indexes this is 1 this is 2 3 4 5 6 these are the array indexes only right so we are playing inside of the array indexes so we are not uh, actually building a tree here right so we are just uh, doing everything inside of the array but uh, the graphical representation or how we are trying to interpret it is as a tree or a heap right so we take the left and the right child and we check that this left child should be in bounds of uh, the size of the array that is n right so you check this and after that you simply check the children if the children is greater than the parent you swap largest and you say uh, you take the left pointer inside of this largest variable similarly you do for the right child and after that as we said the base condition would be that um, if uh, none of this happens right that is if your largest is not changed that is the parent is already greater then you don't have to call any heapify right because the parent is already greater so you don't do anything but if it is not right that if you have swapped anything if your largest was changed you just swap these two values and then you again call max heapify for this particular position so this will be working in o of n time and after this inside of this we are doing the heap sort logic first you do what you build the heap right and after that you iterate in the array from the last position and you swap the elements from the last position until you reach the first position right you are uh, iterating from the last position and you take the root of the heap and you put it at the last position right so that is how uh, this algorithm works